Have you ever wondered why Jerusalem, a city in Israel, is considered holy by three major world religions? This isn't a random designation, but a testament to Israel's profound historical significance within the narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Let's start with Judaism. Israel, or more specifically Jerusalem, is the spiritual epicenter of Judaism. It's here that Abraham, the patriarch of the Jewish people, showed his unwavering faith by preparing to sacrifice his son Isaac. It's also where King Solomon built the first temple, the holiest site in Judaism. Christianity too has deep roots in Israel. Jesus of Nazareth, who Christians believe to be the Messiah, was born in Bethlehem and spent his life preaching in Galilee and Jerusalem. It was within the walls of Jerusalem that Jesus was crucified and, as Christians believe, resurrected, marking the cornerstone of Christian faith. But it's not just Judaism and Christianity that hold Israel in high regard. Islam also recognizes the spiritual significance of this land. For Muslims, Jerusalem is the third holiest city after Mecca and Medina. The Al-Aqsa Mosque, located in Jerusalem, is where Prophet Muhammad is said to have ascended to heaven during the night journey. And it's not only these pivotal events that tie these religions to Israel. Countless prophets, saints, and religious figures from these faiths have walked this land, prayed here, and left their mark. The narratives of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, among others, are deeply rooted in the cities, deserts, and mountains of Israel. These intertwining religious narratives have left an indelible mark on Israel, shaping its cultural, historical, and spiritual identity. They've also made it a place of pilgrimage, prayer, and reverence for millions of believers around the world. Thus, Israel's historical landscape has been intrinsically interwoven with the stories of these three major world religions. It's a place where history and faith converge, making it not just a country, but a symbolic crossroads of beliefs, a spiritual home, and a testament to the enduring power of faith. But did you know that ancient Israel was once split into two kingdoms? Yes, the land known today as Israel has a long and complex history, part of which includes a time when it was two separate entities, the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Let's take a step back in time to around 1,000 years before the Common Era. The monarchy of King David had united the 12 tribes of Israel, but after the death of his son, King Solomon, the unity fractured. The kingdom split into two, the northern kingdom of Israel, encompassing 10 of the 12 tribes, and the southern kingdom of Judah, consisting of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. The two kingdoms had different fates. The kingdom of Israel fell to the Assyrians in the 8th century BCE, its people exiled and lost to history, becoming known as the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel. Judah, on the other hand, survived a while longer until it too was conquered, this time by the Babylonians in the 6th century BCE. The Judahites were exiled to Babylon, but managed to maintain their identity and their descendants would eventually return and rebuild. These ancient kingdoms didn't just fade into oblivion, though. They left an indelible mark on the state of Israel as we know it today. The narratives of these kingdoms, their kings, prophets, wars, and the wisdom of their literature are woven into the fabric of the modern Israeli identity. They're referenced in the law, literature, art, and religious practices. The very language spoken in Israel today, Hebrew, was the tongue of these ancient kingdoms. Moreover, the division between Israel and Judah is echoed in the political and social tensions within the modern state of Israel, between different groups with their own interpretations of what the Jewish state should look like. The ancient kingdoms of Israel and Judah had a profound influence on the culture, history, and even the politics of the modern state of Israel. Their echoes can be heard in the everyday life of the people, in the traditions they uphold, in the language they speak, and in the land they call home. What if you were forced to leave your homeland and then returned after thousands of years? Imagine living through such an epic journey. This is the story of the Jewish diaspora, a series of displacements that scattered the Jews from their ancestral homeland. The Jewish diaspora began in the 8th century BCE, when the Assyrians conquered the northern kingdom of Israel, causing many Jews to flee. Later, in the 6th century BCE, the Babylonians seized the southern kingdom of Judah, leading to another significant Jewish displacement. But the diaspora didn't stop there. 
In the first century CE, the Romans crushed a Jewish revolt and destroyed the Second Temple in Jerusalem, a catastrophic event that further scattered the Jewish people across the Roman Empire. Life in the diaspora was often marked by hardship and persecution. Yet in spite of these challenges, Jewish communities managed to thrive, preserving their unique culture, religion, and identity in foreign lands. The dream of returning to their homeland, a concept known as Zionism, remained alive in the hearts of many. The Zionist movement gained momentum in the late 19th century, advocating for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. This was a controversial proposition, stirring up tensions between Jews, Arabs and the British who controlled the region after World War I. The horrors of the Holocaust in the 20th century underscored the urgency of a safe haven for Jews. In response, the United Nations proposed a plan to partition Palestine into Jewish and Arab states. Despite Arab opposition, the plan was approved and on May 14, 1948, the State of Israel was proclaimed. The return to their ancestral homeland was a significant event in Jewish history and marked the beginning of a new chapter for Israel. The story of the Jewish diaspora and the return is a testament to resilience, determination, and the enduring power of a dream. It's an epic tale that continues to unfold, shaping Israel's identity and its place in the world. From ancient history to a high-tech future, how did Israel become a global leader in technology? Let's dive into it. Israel, a country that has its roots steeped in history, has evolved into a modern nation and a powerhouse in the field of technology. This transformation didn't happen overnight, but is the result of years of dedicated efforts and a commitment to innovation. When you think of technology, Israel might not be the first country that comes to mind. However, behind the scenes it's been making waves and breaking barriers. Israel is home to more than 6,000 startups and has the highest concentration of high-tech companies in the world outside of Silicon Valley. It's not just quantity, but quality that makes Israel stand out. The country is known for its advanced research and development in various fields, from artificial intelligence to cybersecurity, from biotechnology to renewable energy. Israel's technological prowess extends to the field of medicine as well. Israeli researchers and companies have been at the forefront of numerous medical breakthroughs, contributing to the global knowledge and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in healthcare. From pioneering new treatments for diseases to developing advanced medical devices, Israel's impact on global health is significant and growing. The country's achievements in agriculture are equally impressive. Israel is known for its innovative agricultural technologies that have transformed desert landscapes into fertile farmlands. From drip irrigation systems to new methods of crop cultivation, Israel's agricultural innovations have had a profound effect on food security and sustainability worldwide. Israel's transformation into a high-tech powerhouse is a testament to its resilience, ingenuity, and forward-thinking approach. Despite its small size and limited natural resources, it has managed to turn challenges into opportunities and has become a global leader in technology and innovation. So, from an ancient land with a rich history to a modern nation leading in technology, Israel's journey is truly unique and fascinating. As we look to the future, it's exciting to see what this powerhouse of innovation will bring next.